Hello, welcome to the round trip tutorial. This tutorial is a hello world example that explains how to integrate a micro app with a user defined spectrum data flow. In this tutorial, I'll give an overview of what we're trying to accomplish, and then there'll be three parts. Step one of creating the data flow and exposing it and testing it on Postman. Step two will be to create the micro app itself. That's the user interface. And then step three, finally, will be the response from the Spectrum server being sent back through to that micro app. We'll conclude this tutorial with a basic test. This application works such as the uh, left-hand side is the Spectrum Spatial Connect app. It can be on a mobile device or in the browser. It's communicating through to the Spectrum Connect server. When a new row is inserted, that Spectrum Connect server will then invoke a web service on Spectrum. Spectrum Spatial. That web service in this particular case will prepend the word hello in front of whatever was passed to it and send a response back through to the Spectrum Spatial Connect server, which in turn will send a response back to the Spectrum Spatial Connect app. A written tutorial explaining exactly how to do this has been posted at the uh, Spectrum Spatial Connect documentation site. We will now begin with a demonstration. I've logged into the Spectrum Spatial Connect website, and here I have the, uh, the round trip application. I will go ahead and add a new record. In this case, I'll put in Will. So I will now send Will to the SSE server, which in turn sends it to the Spectrum server. That responds back with prepending hello in front of it. So when I submit it, I see that O response has changed to hello will. So that's what we're trying to accomplish in this round trip application. We will begin by launching the Enterprise Designer. You will need to have rights to be able to create your own data flows on this server. We start by creating a new service. Select File, Data Flow, and Service. As you can see, you have your palette in your center, and on the left hand side are different stages. We'll begin by adding an input stage. This is what the web service will use as the input. We'll then do a simple transform. And finally, we'll output. quite a straightforward data flow. We will then connect the stages together. For the input, we will add two fields. First field being the input name. And for the micro app, the actual row ID. transform is used to create a new field for output. In this case we're just going to say hello and the name that's been input. The new field should be called O response. Finally we'll output the response itself to see if it's working. We will now save the data flow. We'll call it Hello Buzzy. Be sure to expose the data flow for execution. You should see a little light there. That says that it's ready for web services interaction. We also need to make sure that it has the correct web service options. It's very important that you can expose it as a post.
and the other two are really not necessary. Make sure it's exposed again. Next we'll learn how to use Postman to test it. To test the Spectrum service as a uh, JSON service, we're going to use a, uh, a third-party application named Postman. You can download Postman from postman.com. It's very straightforward. Once you've done that, you go ahead and launch it. You can see that it has a, a pretty sophisticated user interface. We're just going to start by creating a new uh, request. So in this case, we're going to do a post. And we're going to enter the URL. In this case, it remembers one that I had previously already typed in. Authorization, we need to uh, authorize basic auth. The very first data element should be input and the second one should be row. These are uh, consistent throughout every single service. In our particular service, our two inputs were row ID and I name. Go ahead and send this request. And here we can see the output was correct. Hello, Will. So we know that, in fact, our service is working correctly. We are now going to create the micro app, which is used to communicate back through to the Spectrum server. Begin by creating a new buzz. In this case, we're just going to use a blank buzz. Give it a name. and publish the draft. We're going to add some content. In this case, we'll be adding an application. In that application, we will be adding some fields. First field will be the input name. This was what gets submitted to the Spectrum uh, data flow. Then we will actually have the, uh, the field which gets a response back from the server. Pretty straightforward. Now comes the interesting part. I'm going to create a rule. Every time that the row is submitted, we should go ahead and send some JSON to our service. In my case, I'm using my local server. This URL, you can find more information about how to construct these in the spectrum web services documentation. We're going to go ahead and do a post and add in the information to authorize it. And then we are going to add in the JSON body. This is a very important part of it. I'm just going to go to the Buzzy Docs for a minute. In these docs we have an example. This is 
what the input should look like. This is the section we want to copy. So in this, input specifies the name of the stage, row specifies the data st structure that's being passed in, row ID specifies the micro app and the row itself, which is a GUID, it's identified as underscore ID, and then finally the field iName is also being passed in. Take a look after clicking add, we should see the rule. At this point, we're ready to start step two, which is uh, part two of the data flow, which is sending the response back to this application. We will now complete the spectrum data flow by sending a response back to the SCC server. To do this, we need to add a couple of stages. One is an aggregator to put the data into the right format. And then finally, some groovy code that will actually send the result back to the SCC server. Let's open up our existing data flow that we created in part one and add the two stages that we need. First one is an aggregator. So we will do the group by, by row ID. And the output we'll use the existing fields. Finally, we'll add some groovy script. This is done by custom transformation. At this point, the output is irrelevant, but it's necessary to complete the data flow. The real output will happen in a transformer. So we'll add a custom. Post SEC. The easiest way to do this is to take sample code, which is in Appendix C. You will need to modify this for your own server. It should be to modify this string here. Here I'm using my own local servers. And you would need to change the default password, email and password. What this code does basically comes along, logs into the uh, uh, SSC server, gets a token and ID that's necessary to do the transaction. It then posts to the server itself, the SSC server, and it posts in the object that's been passed in. And that's it. To complete this step, we'll save the service and expose it. You can expose it by pressing the light bulb. And here we can see that it actually has been exposed properly. So now it is available for the SSC server to talk to the Spectrum server. So let's go test it. We're now ready to test our application. 
So what we will do is we will go ahead and add a new record. The name I will put world. So when I submit this, it's going to take the iName parameter and the row ID, pass that to the Spectrum server. It's going to execute the data flow. The data flow will prepend the world hello to it and send a response back. And we can see that the item was successfully added and hello world has come back. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for your attention and I wish you a great day.